Hello everyone and welcome to another ride overview. Today we are going to talk about the worst coaster type in the game, the mini suspended coaster. Don't get me wrong, it can be a very pretty coaster and it is nice to have it in the game. But its stats and its functionality are easily the worst of any coaster type. The absolute worst thing about it, in my opinion, is how fast it loses speed. The heavier a car or a train, the slower it loses speed over time. If I use cheats to set the weight of this train to the maximum possible, it will barely lose any speed at all. On the other hand, if I set the weight to the minimum possible, it will slow down to the minimum speed possible almost immediately. The mini suspended coaster sits closer to the minimum weight than the maximum weight as it has the lightest trains of any coaster type. Let's do a comparison. Here is a vertical drop coaster with trains consisting of a single car. It goes up a 12 meter tall hill with an 8 km per hour chain lift. Then it drops down and travels 10 straight track pieces. After that it still has enough speed to make a 9 meter tall hill. Now let's try the same setup with the mini suspended coaster. After the 10 straight track pieces it only has enough speed left to make a 4.5 meter hill which is half the height of that of the vertical drop coaster. It really is absurd how fast the mini suspended coaster loses speed, especially considering that the single car vertical drop coaster is still quite light compared to an actual coaster train. This makes it very annoying to build designs that are somewhat long as you will almost always need multiple chain lifts. I can guarantee you that if you build several of these then at some point you will be frustrated because it doesn't make a hill that you thought it would make and now you need a second chain lift. Combine this with the incredibly low support height limit of only 13.5 meters or 45 feet and you can see why this coaster type is almost more of a gentle ride than a coaster. This may come as a surprise but the mini suspended coaster is quite prone to crashing and exploding. Because the cars are so light the added weight of the guests makes a huge difference. This can easily cause a full car to catch up to an empty car and bump into it. This will not make it explode, but now the cars are stalled and the next car will explode when it crashes into it. To prevent this I recommend to always enable the wait for full load option. It's not all doom and gloom though. The mini suspended coaster has both a slightly higher cost and slightly higher stats than the junior coaster, so it can fulfill the role of cheap first roller coaster quite well. It won't make as much money as the junior coaster as it has a lower maximum throughput, but it can still make some good money for its price. This is a point that I should reiterate. The mini suspended coaster is the worst coaster type in the game, but it is still a roller coaster, which automatically makes it a powerful ride. The same goes for other bad coaster types like the Hardline and the Steeplechase. They're still roller coasters, so they are still much better than most flat rides. Now onto the stat requirements. Usually I'd do a bit about the special elements first, but it doesn't get any outside of the station and the S-Bands, so there's not much to say about it. The mini suspended coaster has the following stat requirements. It needs a drop of at least 4 meters. It needs to have a top speed of at least 28 km per hour. It needs to be at least 200 meters long and it needs to have at least 1.30 lateral G's. For every requirement that you fail to make, all your stats will be divided by 2. Despite the cars swinging in the turns, the lateral G's are calculated as if they don't. So you need to take a small turn at about 28 km per hour to get the required 1.3 lateral G's. 
Now it's time for me to show off some efficient coaster designs. These won't be useful very often as most of the time when you build a mini suspended coaster it will be a custom design that fits the terrain that you're building on. However, if the mini suspended coaster is your only option or your only cheap option then these designs can be useful for making money early on. There is a download link for these designs in the description. First there is this design which is very cheap and very compact and barely makes all the stat requirements. It isn't the absolute cheapest or most compact design but I think it strikes a great balance between the two. This design isn't really useful but I always like to include one super cheap design. I think this is a much more useful design. It has a longer station and a bit higher stats. Because of the longer station it has a much higher maximum throughput. To ensure that it can process as many guests per hour as possible, don't forget to disable the minimum waiting time and place the entrance on the first tile of the station. As usual the last design is the largest one. Despite it only costing about 5000 euros there's not much use in making it any larger. It has the longest possible station in RCT Classic and Vanilla so it has the most cars possible. A longer ride will give slightly higher stats but not much. The first chain lift already goes to the support limit so there isn't much more you can do except just add length and a few drops which will greatly increase the ride duration. This in turn lowers the throughput as you're not going to get more cars than this design already has. This design is prone to crashing if you don't enable the wait for full load option so do not forget to do that. If you don't want to fiddle around with downloading designs and such then the pre-builds that come with the game are also pretty good options. They're not entirely optimized but they're pretty close since this coaster only has a very limited number of possibilities. And that was it for this ride overview. In summary, the mini suspended coaster is quite good at being a beautiful scenic ride, but all it can do outside of that is being a worse junior coaster that loses its speed frustratingly quickly. If you liked this ride overview consider giving it a like or leave a comment. You can also subscribe or follow me on Twitch. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.